Whew, it is really going out there. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I prepped everything to go, yeah, last time. This is just still showing it's yellow because it's slightly hurt. Um, do I have enough to make the blow torch? So, where is it here? I don't think I've researched it yet. Uh, how much is repair putty? Uses my chemicals, but we should probably have at least one. All right, we accomplished some main story stuff last time. Oh, hey, this connects to here now. Before it was a dead end. Well, I can go there and get my ship back, which is nice. You know what? We'll do a we'll do a little trip up there, I think. And uh we can go over there. Blue mentioned the thermal vac, but I don't have the stuff I need for it. The thermal vac's just what you need for um, collecting the uh, little things that are uh, little like things that are on the coral in the swamp, swamp coral. It helps with collecting those. I can collect them without it. Oh, I love how the breathing fire wiggles. That's cute. I like that. But yeah, it helps with getting that stuff. You can still collect it without it, but it makes it a lot easier. High instability. So I could go this way. I could go this way. Or I could just go this way. Let's just go this way. Let's do it. Whew. Yeah, um, so it's a good thing I decided not to stream yesterday because shortly after I said I wasn't going to stream, I went to sleep and I slept completely undisturbed for 10 hours. Um, I'm a very light sleeper, so I usually wake up when my wife comes to bed. Like, any noise at all will usually wake me up. Slept right through it, which never happens. So, uh, I was a tired camper. Apparently. Quite a tired camper. Oh my god, stupid wipers, turn those off. Okay, golem peni. Go away. So, that was a time. Are you shitting me? There's computers in there. Oh, there's a lot of tech in there, but... I don't think I need any of that. Not enough to make it worth an electrician's kit, I don't think. Alright, we're dipping. We are out of here. Whew. Ugh. I also did my lifting earlier. Like, right before stream. Had just enough time to squeeze it in. My arms are a wee bit sore right now. But I was happy to get down and uh, just chill with some Pacific Drive because this game's nice and cool. Good sore though? Oh, yeah, no. Good sore. And it's only because I just, like, literally just did it. Once you work out pretty consistently, you stop kind of getting that after workout soreness. And I don't I don't get it any these days. It's just because I just worked out. Like while I was on start screen, worked out. <laughs> Not worked out, but lifted my weights while I was on start screen after my workout. Ah I don't really get post-gym soreness these days. Uh, 
Unless I specifically push myself harder. If I push myself really hard or target places I don't normally target as much, then I'll get it, but... Gotta get into a routine. It does help. My longest streak of, like, working out every single day was, like... God, it was... I did it for, like, years without taking a break. Which wasn't good either, because I wouldn't even take a break if I was feeling sick, but... It helps with depression. It absolutely does, yeah. Can confirm. Ah, my door is dead. Poor door. I don't have a replacement door. But yeah, it uh it absolutely helps with depression and stuff. Just in general working out really does. When uh when I had my big stint working out in college, um, which was when I really got fit and everything. Uh, hi. What are you, a radiation bunny? Is this bad? This is bad. Um, go away. Um, what is happening to my car right now? I think that's the, is that radiation or something? What was that? Ah. Okay, that's a left... Oh my god. This place is not good. Um, when I had my big stint with working out when I was in college, basically all I did was just run in place while I watched a YouTube video. And that slowly transformed into other things. Oh my god. Shitheads. Get the hell away from this damn thing. Oh, the left, right, really? God, that was a terrible area. Everything was right there. I hate these so much. God. So awful to deal with. Uh, but yeah, I just ran in place while I watched YouTube videos. And uh, that slowly transformed into having a consistent schedule for working out. In general. God, already? Oh my god, I've barely done anything. It's cardio, yeah. I mean, honestly, you don't even have to do something like cardio. Like, doing anything helps. If you're just trying to get into stuff, I would highly, highly recommend... If you can get yourself to even do just, like, a little bit of yoga each day. Yoga's very, very good for you, and it also helps relieve stress. And it's a pretty low-impact thing you can do. Um, to just generally make yourself feel better and get a little bit of a workout in. And it's easy to squeeze in, because it's kind of... You know, decompressing. You can very easily watch something while you do it. There's tons and tons of videos on YouTube and stuff for uh, like 10 minute yoga sessions and things you can do. It truly helps. Because, yeah, I mean, my biggest thing was I didn't like cardio, especially high impact cardio. I still don't really. Um, so, I needed something that I could convince myself to do each day. And uh, that was what worked for me, but it's obviously different for everybody. But it doesn't have to be much. More so, it's just about getting a routine, and then as you start to feel better, you'll want to do more and more. We are just going to have to get out of here. Because uh, this place is proving to be very awful. So, I'm just gonna hit the gateway, especially since my car is currently dying. This was a very, very short trip. Car was not having a good day. You tried. 
The little car that could. Ah, the more quirks, the merrier, huh? What the fuck was that? That was weird. My car just slammed into that on its own. So, go ahead and do everything here. Hey, thank you for the sub, Bugs. Hope you're doing well. 14 months is a lot. That might be my biggest. Actually, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Raxby's been around since I, like, started streaming. Straight up. But that is an incredibly, incredibly long time. So thank you, Bugs. Really appreciate that. It's hard to believe I've even been streaming for 14 months, if I'm going to be honest with you. Ugh, so many steel sheets. Ooh, repair putty, thank you. Oh my god, a door! I needed one of those. I'd be surprised if it were your longest with Rax being leafy. Uh, I mean, it very well could be. Not everybody subs every month, so... And I've had quite a few, like, periods where I just, you know, wasn't around and stuff like that. Okay, goodbye, Steel Door. You're old. And unfortunately, that means you need to be ground down for materials. Poor thing. Uh, I'm just gonna have to repair Putty that. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. For such a short trip, my car got the shit knocked out of it. Um, which panels are the worst? Yeah, I got more weird wagon. I've just been too lazy to put more of it on, but uh, I probably should. Although there's something like oddly pleasing about the uh, the like mismatched look of the car currently. is uh, interesting to me. Okay, we definitely need that putty. Oh yeah, you did give me a spare putty. That's right, thank you for that. Designated idiot. Okay. My bumper. Um, how many other things do I have over here? I have one more panel, so I can just replace that. So, yeah, with a new lead-plated panel. There we go. And then you can go in here. Okay, and then what else do I have? I have one more panel. That is good. Fortunately, I've already gooped a lot of my panels. There's plenty of other stuff to do, though. Uh, so... Let's just put the panel in here. Take out the insulated door. And put that... ...in here. Yes. And then you take out that. Okay, I have a spare tire. Summer tire's okay. That one's fine. There we go. Okay, this is gonna need to be gooped. That needs to be gooped. Uh, needs a sealant kit too. Uh, okay, 
Okay, what else do we need here? Side storage is a little bit hurt. My headlights are about to be swapped out, so that doesn't matter. Let's hit my side floodlights, I guess. I don't even, still don't even know. What, I mean, they block shorted, but that's kind of it. Okay. And then... Headlights can come out. So there's damaged headlight in there now. You just grab these two. Uh, yes. And let's take you out. Put the fresh one in. Um, you. There you go. You can go in there. Okay, I do have another spare steel panel that is good in here. So... Most of these are fine, though, so you can go in there. Uh, anything else that's damaged? Okay, I need some more stuff to go in here. Um, what can I make? Insulated lead plant, uh, panels. Uh, insulated bumper. Let's make another insulated panel, I think. And then another lead plated panel. Let's put those in there. Alright. And I would like to make another door too. Insulated door. Can't make another one of those. Alright. This is my worst door. Definitely this one. Okay, in you go. Okay, and then I can still fit a little bit more in there. And you go on there. Okay, that looks good. And now I have a few spare parts in here. Okay, what do you got to say? Hold on. I think there's a cat in my keyboard. No, I said that right. In my keyboard. Ah! That would be horrifying. Oh, the tire. Okay, this this light is barely damaged. We put that in there. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, not this. Okay, put some black stripes on here. Or numbers? Eh, all of that stuff's ugly. I'm gonna go for this. Yeah, the faxes are very, very horrifying. Let's get it all weird wagon dub. I get up here. That has the flowers. That's good enough. Okay. All right. Uh, battery still needs charged because I left my lights on. <sighs> I guess that's from when they turned on. Yeah, because I didn't have that. There we go. Okay, should we try that again? Hmm. I could go... to you. What kind of energy do you have? Um, yeah, I think I'll go to you. That gets me to my new location, and it also opens up a better path to here, I guess. I could hit both of these, and then hit this one. I would like to grab my stuff, because I had some pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go here. Let's let's go pick up my corpse. 
We can get through it pretty quickly. I don't have to take the interstate this time. Yeah, this, uh, this game surprisingly has corpse piles. That's why it has the little tombstone marker on there. Um, it's been there since, you know, whatever, whenever that stream I purposely died in. Uh, I can go pick my stuff back up. It said that when I died that it leaves behind a little pile. Which is cool. Uh, alright, so... I'm going this way. So we're gonna go to E7. I think it's super, super cool that you can pick your stuff up. Alright. I started the new Princess Peach game today and it's uh pretty interesting. Feels a little uh feels a little little, you know, easy currently, but uh it is a Nintendo game. Oh, okay. There's a quirk. Well, we have a quirk. My lights turn off when I steer. When I steer hard, my lights turn off. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Um Oh, I'd already have my impact hammer. I need more plasma. The bluey. You ow. None of that, please. Peach game, the original, was designed to be easy since it was for girls. Ew. I mean, at least this one doesn't have, um... The MacGuffin being a magical vibrator. And the main gimmick being that, like... Peach gets angry and you need to calm her down. I don't remember the specifics, but possibly with the magical vibrator. That's all I remember of it. This feels less like it's easy. It, it just feels Nintendo easy, basically. At the moment. It does have some of the, like, Nintendo charm with, like, secrets hidden in cute areas and stuff like that that I like, though. So I don't particularly care if it's super easy. Ah! That just hit me. Oh, God. You're annoying. What the hell? Are you the friendly one? Happy hair! Yeah, you are. You're the healy one. There we go. Uh, should probably put you in a different spot. Let's put you here. There we go. Shit, this is currently... Electrified. Funny how Nintendo has Nintendo Easy, which is super easy, and Nintendo Hard, which is crazy difficult. Yeah, the main problem with Nintendo Hard is that Nintendo Hard only shows up in, like, the last hour of the game. Otherwise, it's, like, not around. It doesn't exist. Oh, God. I'm going into quite the bad area over here. And we're flipped. We all right. Okay, there goes my battery. That's what I get for coming down here, I suppose. I really just wanted this energy. 
that also just happens to be all the way down here. Holy hell, how deep does this place go? Jesus. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I thought it was gone, but it had just stopped. There we go. We're fine. Yeah, I thought it was gone. I thought it had went past, but it was just where it had stopped. God, there's a lot of fucking tourists around here. You know... Thank you. Oh my god. There's so many. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Ah. Oh shits. Hate you. Fire Emblem Infernal Difficulty is truly Nintendo hard. I haven't really played any of the new Fire Emblems. But like... My main, my main thing is platformers, and... Nintendo platformers usually don't get hard until like the super secret levels. Otherwise they're usually pretty simple. At least my thingy on the back is still keeping my car repaired, right, thingy? Oh, it's not there anymore. Hey, you. Happy hair. Here. You get on my car. There we go. Heal me up. And we'll, uh... Kind of chill for a second before I leave the area, because you're only on here and while I'm in the zone. Let's let it finish its work before I leave. You turn off. Don't need you. How worthwhile is this, I guess? I feel like it's pretty worthwhile. Especially if I turn the car off. Take this opportunity to sip. I believe he's been streaming for a really long time. I wonder if he's trying to just like straight up finish um, the Peach game. Let's see. How much are you? God, that is at a painfully slow rate. It's definitely not worth staying around. You want to grab one of those and have it on your car basically the entire time. Like, it's trying its best, but. Sadly, it's best is not good enough. Okay. Get me to G9, and then we'll get there, and then I'll just prioritize getting to this new place by going straight down here. Does have an unstable anchor coming up. Malfunctioning mess. My levels of magnetic interference combined with broad spectrum atmospheric anomalies mean things are constantly going haywire. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. There's, uh... Two things I don't recognize here. Which is cool. Alright. Ah, yes, there's one of the recording things. Which I can... I probably have enough time to get. Probably have time to swing over there. Also pop into this house really quickly. Do, 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 
Uh, house is looking a little... Little fucky, but, uh... We'll get in here really quick and grab what we can get. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And is that really it? Uh, there's a radio. Yeah, I can get that stuff at home. I've got a uh, some birthday dinner and stuff tomorrow, which will be fun. And then I'll be streaming with uh, the Doka crew Sunday. And that'll be fun. And I got to choose the game. head down there and grab that because it's going to take me close to where I want to go anyway what the hell did I just drive onto a rock oh it's a car god damn I didn't even see that thing well how am I going to get off of this Oh my god, I'm gonna have to emergency teleport again. Because my car somehow climbed on top of this thing and is now perfectly stuck. Yeah. Hmm. Only I had the jump jacks things. Okay. There goes my fucking battery. Yep, it's completely out. Um, do I have one of the things? Luckily, I have two. God, that's annoying. Twice in run one run this happens. on the road. Here's one of these things. What you got? Ooh. Those are good things. That's the dumpster pearl that I was missing. And I'm about to get more. This place is so mountainy. I swear to God. Or hilly, rather. God, with the zero traction. At least I'm getting a hell of a lot of energy out of this place. evacuation of the Olympic Peninsula's 100,000 strong population, the records get sketchy. Once the region is swept clean of civilian eyes, the flow of information trickles to an eventual stop. Arda has always maintained that the evacuation was done in the name of national security. That there was simply nothing more patriotic than sacrificing your homes, with the communists plotting our demise across the Atlantic. Certainly not because there was any danger from the strange experiments happening inside, or situations most unnatural to witness. Arda kept a wide berth, displacing citizens far ahead of the front line, so first-hand accounts of things going awry were rare. The rumors spread fast, and everyone... 
everyone had some story about a distant relative whose pet changed in inexplicable ways, or a friend of a friend who followed strange lights into the woods and never returned. Once the civilians cleared out, the Arda employees moved in. Scientists, officials, support staff, and their families made the Olympic Exclusion Zone home, reaching anywhere from 300 to 1,000 in total at its peak. What any of them were doing in the zone was kept hush-hush, but the population just outside the walls found the secrecy irresistible. Every shipment of raw material, out-of-season weather pattern, and inexplicable light or sound became the talk of the town for the first decade of the zone's existence. Interesting, and now I got Anomaly Encounters number three. We were once uh, up one of the old fire roads doing maintenance on a new gate. Dusk was fast approaching. At first I thought Carlos had his radio on, but then I realized the sound was much too clear. There were dozens of them, moving like a swarm. They were a deep orange, like embers off a fire. Each one of them made a sound of some sort, like wind chimes, but softer. We sat and watched them for an hour before they suddenly faded out. Never seen anything like it. Interesting. What horrific thing happened to you, I wonder? Okay, all that goes away. You go in there, you go in there. Yummy canned food. I guess I don't need the lights. Conserve the battery a little. Alright, I'm not gonna collect any more uh, energy. I think we have more than enough. And I would prefer to save some of my space for uh, better energy. Like unstable and stuff. So I think we're gonna avoid that. Which does suck, because I am going, like, right past the thing. But, uh, I have higher priorities right now. Uh, it's just gonna lift me up into the air, but we won't go too far. Yeah, see, fine. Wheels can handle it. Alright, and then once we get over here, I have more than enough energy, I can possibly grab some unstable from the new zone, and we'll be fine. Oh, not the stupid spike traps. We'll go this way. There we go. Uh, not this angry bastard. I hate this thing. It leaves behind these... It's just super annoying. Very, very annoying to deal with. My radio messed up? Ah. I thought my radio was messed up. I don't like that. Ah, there we go. My radio is fixed. I just had to listen to the very sinister broadcast in Spanish. Great. We're fine. Yeah, let's eat all the left rights. Here we go. My hood can handle it. Or my bumper, rather. Alright, we're out. And I'll be able to fix my lights soon. That quirk, actually annoying. Alright. 
Let's go. There's two different anomalies that I don't recognize here. I stopped finding new ones for the most part. All right, corrosive downpours. Corrosive squalls are much more common in this part of the zone. This part of the zone is full of anomalies known for suddenly accelerating vehicles they touch. Remnant seems to become more brittle in this part of the zone, meaning that collisions suffered will cause more damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we have a huge thing of radiation where, unfortunately, my energy resides. I don't need to go in there to get it, but I would like to. And there's my body. I would like the energy if possible. So we might head in there. We're gonna do it from a better spot than this. Oh, hey! What are these? Thank you. Appreciate you. This will take you way faster than the other ones do, too. Okay, so continue down this road until we hit that point where I can cross over easily to the other one. I don't like the noises coming from over there much. Ah, uh, that's one of the rotten egg things. All right, we're fine. I'll probably cross in just a second, just to make this trip a little easier. Really wish this would go away, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Oh, not one of the pickpockets. Ah, oh, shit. No. I'm going this way. Bye. You can sit over there and be a dumbass. I'm not going that way. I thought that rock was a building. Sadly, no. Okay, down here. And then up this way. where I want to go. Corrosive Squall. For many, acid rain has been an environmental hazard for years, but for those within the zone, it's an outright existential threat, arriving with little warning and incredibly, an incredible, almost supernatural intensity. Yeah, this isn't fun. And these things just fall the entire time. We got goop meteors. Like this one a bit. I need the energy. Uh -oh. That was odd. Very, very dark for a few seconds. The weirdest Final Fantasy spell? Yeah, this is Bio. Ga, 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 ga. Bioza. I think was the highest level that it went to at any point. I don't know. I'm not up to date on that shit. I think adding Za to the end would be the highest that Bio would go. Uh... Holy hell, really? I didn't think I was on that much of a fucking incline. Jesus Christ. Okay. Apparently I fucking was. God damn. Where the fuck am I now? 
Did I somehow fall in perfectly into the middle of three trees? God damn. You make Goop Meteor? Yeah, Bioza. Bio you really, really need to upgrade the bio. So it has to become a meteor, obviously. And bio always looked like weird goop to me. God, this area fucking blows. Ugh. I just, I just wanted to get my unstable energy. That's all I wanted to do. And then you give me like fucking mountains and stuff. God damn. Piece of shit. How in the fuck does it expect you to get in there and through there if it's just like a weird shitty mountain? Besides taking the road, which is boring and long. But I guess we gotta take the road. Because apparently that stuff is way too steep. I cannot believe how much I just slid down that fucking mountain. So close to the road. Get the fuck up there. No. Keep going. The road is like right here. Oh my god. What a shithole. And then we have these things to deal with too. Just get me down here. At least I know this is like relatively flat and stuff. I'm not even gonna try to get that energy that was up there. Whew, my headlight's dead. I'll have to grab this energy and then. Probably just come back this way to get so I can get this gate and then leave. annoying assholes that scrambles my stuff. All right, I know. I want to stay fed, so we're gonna do how to butcher a grouse in 60 seconds here. Take your grouse. I know you got a headshot on the little guy. Don't need it. Toss it aside. Okay, you're gonna place it down, breast up, spread the wings out, spread them out nice and wide T-pose. Put one foot on the left wing, one foot on the right wing, grab those feet with both your hands, pull. Don't know why that wasn't okay. It's got all the guts out with it. You can add in the back. Gut out, left on. Brown's chopped those wings off. Keep your shoes, cutting it off. You don't need those either. And have no skin left on that breast. Ready to cook. Cut the legs off. You can pull off on the bottom. Good to go. Rinse it out. Stick it on the spit. Looks good with that butter. Stay thin. Stay frosty. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was because the thing that disrupts my radio was near, but it was still playing the thing even though my radio wasn't on. That's why I was freaking out. Okay. God, this place is ass. Mostly just the really hilly areas like this. The water honestly isn't even an issue at the point at this point. 
that I feel the need to get those tires. But my god. The other shit is awful. going that way. I think my car has like a weird turning quirk, but I can't tell what's bad turning and what's just like the area I'm driving in being super shitty. Boggart back there. Not a boggart, but whatever they are. Golden penis. Oh, one of the one of the purple things had landed like right near me. That must have been what that was, it landing. Oh well, we got unstable energy and stuff. Ah, collecting quirks ah. out there, are we? Why the fuck does it keep I doing guess that's that? One way to entertain yourself. Yeah, my car just like randomly when I'm pulling in here will just be like, I'm gonna ram into the fucking wall. That's a quirk. Alright. Uh, headlights. Hoggles. Um, steering wheel. Inverts direction. Yes. One of four? Sulfur and smoke. What? Glow through snow. What do you mean headlights toggle when I I guess yeah, no, I guess it has to be the other way around. Is is this saying dome light toggles? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay, so the dome light toggles when I do something. I don't know what that is, though. Um, but this needs to be the other way. Steering wheel. Swerves hard. Headlights. Dims. Okay. Um, stays turning, I guess, is what it wants. Good guess. Thank you. Fixes. Yeah, we have six quirks. Uh, I just need a light replacement kit. Okay. Light replacement kit. Fixes. Select. Headlight dims when steering wheel stays turning. Fixed. Still have five more quirks to deal with, but whatever, it's something. Okay, my lights. Stuff are still on. Turn that off. Whew. Okay, card got a little bit beat up. Bunch of stuff I need to deposit in there. And I have a dumpster pearl to put in you. Not the relatable thing. Thank you. Okay. All of that fits in there. I have so many crowbars. I just find these shits so often. I should just get rid of this one and use one of these better ones. I wish you could, like, combine them like you can in Minecraft. Thank you. 
Okay. The download, cancel download. You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> Not that you wouldn't download a car, stupid ad. I download a car? Who would do that? That's funny that they have that in. Can you give me some chemicals? That's really what I need. Ooh, repair putty, thank you. More, still. You really like giving me some canned food, don't you? Interesting. I do always like the repair putty. It's quite nice. Uh, let's open this. We... What do you got? Eh, boring stuff. I'll grind you up though. And you. Dumpster doesn't want me to starve. I have so much food. Clearly, Dumpster wants me to start having bigger portions. Okay. All of that is good. Okay, how damaged is everything? Uh, okay, the steel door needs to be fixed. God, this is the one I just used the sealant kit on. Oh my god. Just sealed you, you little shit. Okay, that's coming off. To be put in here. Bumpers messed up. Lead plated panel is fine. This panel is kind of messed up. Doors don't really need any work. Yeah. The bumper is mostly what needs work. Which, it would be able to squeeze in here with, like, just a bit more space. Um, so let's take a door. Let's put you over there. have an insulated door and let's put you in there okay we have a little light that's already kind of fixed Ooh, I yeah I did straight up lose a headlight I think just died okay this one we can just swap out though Good. Okay, insulated door. I have a bunch of panels. Like I said, I don't think any of my shit is hurt enough to warrant me doing anything with that, so... Let's get this out. Cancel. You stay right there. How bad are the wheels? Uh, wheels are fine. So, and there you go. Let's 
grab the door. Also fine. So, we have pretty much an entire thing of car parts. I guess I might as well take the most damage shit off. Which would be... This door. Uh... space to put you in there and that's too large to fit there so we would need that and I don't have a spare bumper I don't believe so I am gonna have to make a new bumper we'll make an insulated one uh, insulated bumper That in the front. There we are. Okay, so all that's good. We could goop a few things. This is a lead plated panel. Um, you could move right here. So I can put this in here. There we go. Okay, and for the most part, we're just we're just good everywhere else. Insulated panel. Yeah, we'll put that right here. There we go. All right, I think that's pretty good with all of that stuff. Now let's see what we can actually research, because I have 4.3 unstable energy. Rapid refill pump. I really don't care about. Or a car part, lo uh, part per locker in this grid to make tripping over discarded bumpers and stubbing your turbulence spear. Expanded locker, pneumatic locker. More parts lockers. Record the number of runs since your last incident. Interesting. Allows you to use a scanner charge to send a modified signal to a junction, scrambling it. Allows you to spend anchor energy to partially diagnose any quirk. Advanced workbench is what I wanted the most. Because this allows me to just get so many more things. So install that. New and improved workbench. What else? What else would I want? Word you with a car accessory in exchange for energy. Expanded matter regenerator. Improved spectro. Ooh, I need more marsh eggs. Ooh, that would be nice. And for that, I need more plasma. Then I need a limb magnet. Clearly, we need, like, way more plasma. Okay, I'm done with that stuff for now. What about refine? I could learn how to make carbon fiber glass. Um, or I can learn how to make the blowtorch. Or the thermal vacuum? Thermal vacuum is probably what I need to go with. Yeah. Thermal vacuum, because I kind of need that to help with the other stuff. Alright, thermal vacuum. What do I need to make that? Iteration. It applies highly focused energy to produce an even more emphatic and efficient result while also casting light into the dirtiest, darkest of corners. Keep away from face. Uh, I guess I'm just going to throw this one in here. Give me my rubber and stuff back. And... Where are you, you beauty? There it is! I just need thermosap crystals, which luckily I have now. Cool. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I can really afford. Um, besides more, more locker space, I would just need more steel sheets. 
I do have a ton of shit, so I'll make I'll make another locker. Uh, one, two, three, four. Are you winning, son? I'm I'm trying. I'm attempting as best I can given the circumstances. Hope you're doing well, Gondola. Today has been a long day, and so was yesterday. Here? Really? Hmm. Not where I would choose to have it, but uh, I mean, I guess it's more space, so why not? If I just need to throw materials in somewhere, that's a good option. Yeah, and then the next ones require unstable. Okay. So we need to go get more unstable for sure. All right. All righty. Oh my god, I just realized I went there. Did I not pick up my shit? I don't think I did. Because I, I activated the thing and just left. Okay, so it despawned. It's whatever. I got unstable. Who cares? It had like some dumpster pearls and shit in it. But yeah, I totally forgot about that. Uh, I think we're heading to the highway here. I don't even remember what was in there at this point. Um, I know there were some dumpster pearls, but that's about it. The rest would have been some pretty basic resources. But I marked that area, so we have that unlocked now. has the darkness. It has whatever that thing is. We're gonna go here. What does it actually say about it? Uh, eerie darkness and has a bunch of things that I don't recognize. Sudden parental phone call to schedule tomorrow's Cedar Bog Trip. That sounds fun. Heavy fog is what we have here. Along with an anomaly I don't recognize. And a truck I haven't scanned. Oh, I know what that truck is. That's that truck I ran into that one time that had really, really good stuff in it. It's like an Arda truck or something. All right, so we have a heavy fog, but that's it. I still need to make a liberator at some point so I can steal car parts, but most of the time they're not in good enough condition to be worth stealing anyway. So I don't feel the need that much. I'm not sure why you went that way. Uh, I'll do the sick jump. We. <gasps> that was a trap. That was a trap. God damn it, baiting me with a sick jump. That's rude. I got some plastic and some thermosap. Painting me with a sick fucking jump. What kind of asshole? 
does that? What a trap. I don't even know where all your thermocrystals went, you jerks. You mostly just dropped plastic. Honestly, I like barely took any damage from it. I think I plowed through like one. I guess they kind of hit my butt a little bit. That's about it. Health still doing pretty well. I just can't believe the bait. Like, they got me. No more sick jumps will be taken ever again. Is that a squire? I think that's a squire. This is indeed a squire. Uh, all I can really get is you. You do have thermos out. That's a really messed up summer tire. The tires are like the best things I feel like you can get from these random cars. They're rarely that damaged. This too. Okay, thank you. And get me in my door. I guess I could have went and checked that house too, but who cares? Uh, there's tourists all over the place here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I examine the, these before, actually? Is this the one that it's talking about that I haven't scanned? No, that is just the left or right. I was wondering if it was like a different version of it or something. Okay. I'm out of here. You're not running me into those... Stupid tourists I see down here. Ooh, hi. Uh, what do we got? Uh, the mailman. I did it. I crawled inside. I've seen where they led, where they go, where they lead, where they go. It makes so much sense now. I found it between junctions 5A and 6C. Sometimes you pass right through like normal, other times you come back where you started, but in the opposite direction. But you never turned around, and there are no loops that could have led you there. And when that happens, sometimes you get a glimpse, a red light in the distance. It's waiting, looking for something it lost a long time ago, reaching out. I'm certain that the answer to it that's the answer to it all, and I'm staying in here until I find out what it is. Well, uh, that would be really cool, mailman, if I had the other five parts of your story, but uh Unfortunately, I do not. Seems to be hinting at an anomaly that, uh, makes you loop, though. Which is intimidating. Ah, and then there's a sick jump on this side, too. Alright, I do have to get out here, because I need plasma. Hey, I'm gonna collect this shit, but it is used in a lot of recipes. Double ammo! And. Double ammo! Thank you for your contribution. There we go. Mailman goes in there. And we're off. Oh, come on, what's with all the sick jump trucks? Get out of here. We're right into a pit of tourists, too. God, is that an anomaly? The level design setting up sick jump traps? Alright, more of this. 
Ooh, there's a tower over there. It might have some good shit in it. But I want this. Uh huh. Two plasma from that one. Bang. There we go. What about you? You're kind of far away, but... I feel like these things usually have cool stuff in them. Is this just one of the towers I hit up? For one of the story things? I don't rightly remember. There's probably shit in here, though. Hi. There's some stuff. A lab computer. A toolbox. Trash can. What do you have? Pressurized cartridges into plastic. Uh, no thanks. There's an Arda crate. Ooh, a ceiling kit. That I will take. I'm not gonna break down that stuff. I feel like I need it enough. I'm also gonna break my legs. There we go. Ow! That actually hurt a shit ton. My character can't take a fall. Oh well. I'll just need some spam to heal those broken bones. Okay. Uh, in you go, in you go. It wasn't that big of a jump. Come on. We all took jumps like that when we were kids. It's definitely just as easy to do now as it was then. You just gotta you just gotta tuck and roll, you know? My character doesn't know how to tuck and roll. Remember when I was in daycare? This probably wasn't a very good idea. Um, we had like this very tall, like kind of treehouse looking thing. I say very tall. It wasn't that tall, but it was pretty high up in the air and you had to climb a ladder to get into it. I remember multiple times just dead ass jumping from the top of that thing with uh without using the ladder and we had like mulch kinda and I would just roll through that shit hurt a lot not, well not, not hurt a lot cause you do soften your landing with the mulch but it was like wood mulch it was that hard shit too not the rubber mulch so uh the daycare probably shouldn't have let me do that they probably shouldn't have let me do that. But they, like, barely watched us. So. I just remember doing that. That was the little treehouse thing where I played, um... Pokemon Gold and Silver with all of my friends. There was a slide that led all the way down it. So you could get out of it real quick that way, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna jump. Let's see. Probably better if I come around this way. To get to this. See the thing. Mm. Yeah, I can just run it over here. Phew. Hopefully we can actually make it to the area I need to get to today. So we can at least make a little bit more progress. It would be ideal. Alright. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of energy in our back pocket here. Should I need it to make a fast exit. This is really radiating me right now. But we're good. 
Spam's probably got more radiation in it than that does anyway. I've really used my horn before. I should scare off anomalies with my horn more. Yeah, like honk honk. It's one of the little places with the lead plating if I needed some. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and skedaddle. That's irradiated. If I saw some plasma, I would grab that, but so far I see nothing. Oh yeah, I saw the reviews for the um, new, uh, what's it called? Um, Alone in the Dark. They're not great. They're better than uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, that's for sure, but uh, they're not great. Not great at all. Okay, it doesn't say this is a dead end, so I kind of want to see where this leads, if it leads to these places. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 release seems, uh, pretty wild. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, if they had just been like, eh, we're not going to do the microtransaction stuff, that's like a good portion of the bad reviews gone, because then all it requires is some optimization. But... They stuck so hard to the microtransactions, because the game itself seems to be very good, you know? I mean, it's Dragon's Dogma, it's what people wanted. But, uh... If they had just, you know... Chilled a little bit... They'd probably be in a bit better position. Apparently reviewers were given a list of the microtransactions, but they weren't live. Woof. I mean... It's becoming a bit of a, a bit of a thing, huh? With, uh... Oh god. With companies putting, uh... Microtransactions in single player games, which is just super shit. Oh god. Ah, uh, I have to wipe the goop off my windshield? Ew. Disgusting. Ah, get it off of here. Leave me be. Ah, damn it, those fucking tourists. Great. Right at the bottom of a hill. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do some maintenance. That was annoying of you. Uh, that's not where my goop is. My goop here, my goop's here. Uh... Let's hit you. Let's hit this door for sure. This door for sure. Lead panel. I am dying to radiation. This steel panel. God, yeah, we were very messed up. Okay, I'm putting the rest back in here. I think we're good for now. You know, it's bad when you make gotcha games look cheap. Yeah, at least gotcha games are upfront about it, you know? They don't, they don't... They don't, uh, make you pay $70 and then also have to deal with microtransactions on top of that. They're like, yes, you know, this game's free. You can, you can roll for waifus and stuff, but it's, it's free. At least. Apparently the fast travels are one use too. Yeah, they were in the first game. That's the thing that's even more insulting. Porting crystals were a thing in the previous game. And they were great. Because you could effectively set a fast travel point anywhere you wanted. And they were very rare. And I'm guessing they're pretty they're pretty rare in this one still too. 
but you can also just fork out the cash for it if you really don't feel like walking. And I've played a little bit of Dragon's Dogma myself. Um, I played a little bit of Dragon's Dogma myself, and I must say, like, a good portion of the fun in Dragon's Dogma is it basically being like a fucking medieval high fantasy hiking simulator where at any point you can just be on a nice hike and a fucking dragon decides to attack you or bandits like that's that's part of the appeal so <laughs> it's like extra icky that there's just a microtransaction to take like that wrinkle of the gameplay away you know Like, if it was an accessibility option, I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, that's that's fine. That's fine. For people that don't want to deal with that, that's cool. But it's not a fucking accessibility option. Oh my god, I'm getting splooged all over. Oh, it's this little shit. Get off of here. You little... Come here, you. What is this, the fucking cum bunny? Burt Bunny. There we go. You little shit. I'm grinding you down. That's what I think of you. Ooh, they drop chemicals. That's nice. Yeah, that thing was burping all over me. Cannot start a new game in the Steam version if you already have a Steam. That's hilarious. Like, that's just... That's just like, dare I say it, anti-consumer. Like, <laughs> one of the most basic things that you would intend to be able to do in an RPG, <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me. Oh, oh my god. The funniest. They're working on it? I bet they are. <sighs> I mean, I can't say much because I supported Yakuza after the shit that uh, Sega pulled, but at least Yakuza's was less egregious. Like, a little. But, uh... This is generally why I usually shy away from, uh... AAA stuff. Get off of here! Okay, well now I'm gonna come break you down. Where'd you go? Come here. Come here. Prepare to get scrapped. This is what happens. You burp on me? This is what happens. Oh, no chemicals that time. That's a bummer. There's some plasma I can grab from over there, but... At least I have a lot of unstable energy. Okay. And... Yeah, we also can't leave this place um, by an exit. This is a dead end, and we have confirmed that now. So cool. We will go see whatever the hell this is. Is that different than the normal spikes? It is. Spike log. That's annoying. Their statement was basically you can find uh, X amount of DLC items in game and we're very sorry about the bugs. Ah, yes. You can find them in game, so it's like totally fine, you know? I'm definitely of the opinion that even if you can find like 
you know? The excuse of all you can find microtransactions in the game is always, like, still a shitty one, because... Even if you can find all that stuff in-game... That's just basically saying to me that... Oh yeah, we just want to trick our customers that are <laughs> stupid enough to buy this. That don't know they're just everywhere in the game. And it just like, you know, hampers the experience a little. Hi. It definitely hampers the experience a little bit. Just knowing like, oh, you know, a cool thing I did, or a cool thing I found, someone else could get it pretty easily by just spending money. Limb magnet. Ooh, I found one. This ferromagnetic material has enough pull to give it automobile applications. In other words, it can help to accelerate, restrain, or even balance components. Thank you. What does this have? Okay. I'm hurting. It is very not great around there. Oh, go away. What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't you steal my car. Don't you do it! Stay away. Yeah, so we just made our way back to the zone stabilizer. Okay. Alright, get me in here. At least the microtransactions. <laughs> The, uh, in Monster Hunter, the microtransactions are just hairstyles. Yeah. And, like, for cosmetics, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Mostly because I don't super care about the cosmetics anyway. I still think it's a little stupid and sort of shitty that we've hit the point where, you know... Random cool outfits and stuff aren't just rewarded to you in-game by doing interesting challenges or anything like that and instead just piecemealed off as DLC But I can at least stomach cosmetics. I still think it's stupid for a full-priced game though But AAA developers always whine and cry because they're like blah 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 as games get really expensive the, the price to make them gets will high so we need to make more money. Which is stupid. Just stop trying to make your every single game bigger, better, crazier. Companies like FromSoft and Larian exist, but the the whole argument of oh this thing is bad, well well such and such is part of that group and they're not bad doesn't really hold a lot of water. Doesn't change the fact that generally it's still bad. And the question always becomes, especially with, like... Um... Especially with, like, the enshittification of the internet and stuff, it's always, like... The question's always in the back of your head is, like... Aw, oh man. How long until they become bad? I remember when I used to watch the... Listen to the Best Friends podcast a lot. One of them had a thing they told one time where they said where they were at work... And they had a coworker that they worked with... And they're like, I'll always trust the three B's when it comes to video games. They can do no wrong. It was Blizzard, Bethesda, and Bioware. And look where we are now.
Oh yeah, I know about the IPO. That's depressing. But I my my Reddit usage went down a ton after the whole forcing people to the Reddit mobile app thing happened. So if I have to completely ditch Reddit, I don't really give a shit. <sighs> I find myself using it way less these days. Okay, do I even bother? I guess I do. Stock sword. I mean, the thing with that stuff is that's usually not permanent. So, people will realize. What is this thing? Oh, okay. It's just saying that's hurt. Let me exist though, and hopefully even more people move to it. Honestly, I feel like these days I'm like... Kind of fine... With not having something like that. Like... It's fine. I'm good without it. It'll suck for like the few cool communities that I actually care about, but... Less internet is probably good. Just wait until Discord becomes unusable too. We've had a few close scares, but uh... Nothing downright totally damning yet, but, uh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I had never heard of Lumi either. Problem with anything like that is, like, people have to actually make the change. And it feels like these days it's so hard to actually get people off of something and migrate. I still have my blue sky sitting there, but not a lot of people really bother. Summer tire, fine. Yeah, we didn't really take that much damage. Yeah, it's mostly just my limb thing, and then I need to replace my other light. Um, so, I'm gonna have to make a new light. Let's see, headlight, side floodlights. I should just look into making a new type one. Headlight, reinforced headlight, needs corrupted. Uh, bio headlight. Powerful, intensely focused beam. It's probably best not to think about whether it might be alive. Don't say that. Don't, don't fucking say that. Ew. Blocks charged. But this just makes my lights better.
You probably need the whatchamacallit stuff to make it. But better headlights I'm down for. Find by one person so it's not like Red or Titter. People create their own instances and they're, they get aggregated. Yeah, I mean, I would very much like for something like that to catch on. It does use Swamp Coral, of course it does. Um, I mean, I can get it easier now, so I guess... That's kind of expensive, though. Yeah. Are you alive? Alright, so... Could make the level 3 analysis, uh... Module... Don't really care about any of that, though. Let's look here. Carbon fiber glass, eh. Plasma scrapper... Or the torch, or the liberator mark 2. Magnetic hammer. I think I want the plasma scrapper, maybe. Let's see, as far as doors and stuff go, there's armored bumper. Armored bumper. Let's see, my all terrain tires. Uh, all terrain tires do sound pretty cool. Puncture proof tire. All terrain. All terrains just sound very nice. Actually, I mean, I guess not that much better than my off road. It just swaps out the B road rating with an A on off road instead of a double A. Hmm. Power grips are what I really need, though. Which, I need this to even get those, so... I think if I'm gonna get anything, I'm gonna get that. Let's see. Fuel synthesizer, an impressive combination of lean chemistry and advanced filtration. This battery-powered device effectively creates gasoline. Huh, eh. Expanded backseat tank. Nah. Leak-resistant fuel tank. Gas reservoir. Eh. Battery is what I would more so be interested in. I need to scan a wriggling wreck. What is this? Plasma charger? What if a modified cattle prod could be put to more humane use? What if it could help motivate an exhausted car instead of a hesitant heifer? Point this at your battery and reinvigorate your life. I mean, that's neat. What is this about engine? Oh, hey, this just needs... Less miles per gallon, but go faster, and has more health. This just needs stable energy, actually. Yeah, sure. I just need a lot of it. With the all-terrain tires, yeah, they work in water. But so do my off or my, my off-the-road ones. Get myself a new engine. I need a lot of thermo sap before I can do that. Mm. I guess I'll research carbon glass. Because then I can get the all terrain tires. We go off-roading a lot, though, but we are hitting water more now. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna stick to the off-roads for now. 
And I'll just make more of them. Uh, as far as other things go, though. Let's see, what? I think I want the plasma scrapper. Break things down faster. Seems like a good call. And then... I could get to the next level of the analysis module. Yeah. That sounds good to me. New scrapper. It needs plasma. Which makes sense. Alright. So now I can investigate. Which is just going to use my, my baby stuff. Investigate. Five hints found. The radio. Steering wheel. Okay, so there's like multiple things with some of these. Well, I already know one of them. And the horn? Is honked. What? If the horn is honked, something happens? Hmm. What was that? Oh. I honk my horn and my speedometer goes crazy. Okay. Interesting. I don't- I never honk my horn, so... Horn is honked. Um... Dashboard... Speedometer... No, that's... It is my speedometer, right? No, it's my fuel. Fuel gauge fails. We did this last time. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Um... I need a mechanics kit to fix that. Honestly, that seems so non-problematic that how, what what, is, what do I need for a mechanics kit? I have a billion of these things. We might as well fix them. Yeah. It's been resolved. All right. Now, what is... So the dome light toggles. When the dome light is, is toggled, something happens, apparently. What happens? I don't see shit. Yeah, that one, that one might take a while. Alright, let's investigate... Radio. That's what's causing the damn problem. I turned my fucking radio on and my car jumps forward. Ah. Okay. Jeez. Radio switches on. Car jolts forward. Oh, is it is it toggles? Switch is off? There it is. Okay. Yeah, so when I turn it off. 
Good guess. Okay, well that definitely needs to be fixed. That just needs an electrician's kit though. Which I luckily have right here. Hi. Fixes, select. We are good. Car jolts forward when radio switches off. Fixed. Miss. God, I wish Nintendo would re-release some of the Mario, more of the Mario parties in an easier to to play fashion. Rather than the Nintendo Online shit. Or just update that one. With more stuff. I don't know why Nintendo hates DLC. I'd pay for your Mario Party DLC. I mean, they like it for Mario Kart, just not anything else. <sighs> and like, Xenoblade and shit, I guess. Uh, steering wheel... There's more to do with the steering wheel. Hmm. Well, nothing's happening with the steering wheel while the car is off. If it goes right, my speedometer maxes out. Easy. Uh, here's what you'll need to fix this. A mechanics kit? Two of them? Honestly, that one doesn't seem so... I, you know... I don't pay attention to my speedometer. I don't care how fast I'm going. They don't have speed limits here. So no, I don't care. Hmm. The other ones, I... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, are we full? Full here. Not full there. Uh, let me make some more electrician's kits because uh, that kind of saved my ass there. There we go. You get in there. Cool. I have th wait. I have three ceiling kits. Shit. I didn't realize I had so many. You go in there. Oh yeah, dumpster. What you got for me? Give me some thermo sap or something, you little shit. I don't need all this scrap metal. Something better. Canned food. You just you really want me to be fed. Copper wire is something. More food! Okay. If you insist. I wish we had a renewable source of plasma here, like we kind of do with these things. That would be amazing. But sadly, no. Okay. Let's go... Pause it. And I think we're good to head back out. Everything's looking mostly good. Uh, my little bumper thing back here is a little, a little messed up. I need more goop. I really need to make the other thing so I can stop using this. So it's not very efficient. And it costs chemicals, which are kind of rare. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the cool area. So... Can't go there this time, but I can go straight... Here. And that'll potentially get me to where I want to go. So 
So I'm gonna go. I guess. I guess I could go. Yeah, that'll that'll lead me there. So yeah, we're just gonna go in a straight line. There you go. And what exactly does that have in it? Fuel evaporation. Great. Um, there's a thing I don't recognize, another thing I don't recognize. There's a log. Virulent acid. Also not recognized. Well, luckily I've never had fuel problems before. Like, straight up across this entire game. Fuel is like one of the, one of the smallest issues. I got these fuel tanks and all this shit that I, that I have in my car. Didn't need it. Gas is rarely an issue. So hopefully it will continue being thus. Okay. Back to heavy fog land. There was an electric anomaly I have not examined here. And maybe it's my my shocky whatever whatever it was. It was Shocky shocky thingy. I don't remember. Uh, oh, I gotta drive all the way around here. That's awful. At least I can pick up some energy along the way. I don't really want stable energy though. I want the, the nastier stuff. Wow, that car is messed up. Oh, hey, about a billion tourists. Hey. This is what I think of you. Give me all your thermosap, you little shits. Plastic. More plastic. Nothing, really? Oh, shit, it's an abductor. Is that some? There's some. Thermosap. There's more thermosap. Okay. Okay, we got a whopping two thermosap. Great. Leave me be. Thank you. Oh shit, did it just see me? I think it did, but it's in the rear view now. Here's a spark tower. Gonna go ahead and hit this up. More plasma is needed. We got a little bit better at dealing with these. Say goodbye to your life, spark tower. Okay. Should I go down there and grab that? The other energy sources are like right on the road. I'll get those instead. I'll get those instead. Like I said, I don't even want a lot of that type of energy. Hi, tourists. Whole lot of you hanging out here, huh? Phew. Oh my god, there really are a lot of you. Jeez. I need to go to that one, back to that one area where I harvested a bunch of thermosap. That was great. Hearing noises. Oh. Is it just you idiots? Here's one of the car repair places. I guess I can pull into it really quickly. My car is basically still perfect, but... We got a little bit of damage on some things. I can repair my stupid side storage rack. 
If it's here, I might as well take it. Hope you're having a good time down there, Golem. Yeah. You can get some nice stuff from here. Thank you. I appreciate you, repair stop. Fake Leaf Raid, I for Gore. Thank you for the sub, Leafy. And the fake Leaf Raid. How was, uh... How was, how was the Bowsette game? I gotta play more of that, probably after I stream this. More Golem Penis. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Bugs. You you might have it. You also have the Founders. I forget who else has the Founders. I think Capitano has it. Uh, Raxby has it. I forget who else. Gondola, probably? It's a nice, relaxing time. A better battle in Wonderworld. Ah, so very easy. Yeah, I think Morgan has it too. Well, I'm glad the I'm glad the real sequel to Balan Wonderworld came out. I'm sure KG Inafune is smiling from his jail cell. I don't actually know if his ass is in jail yet. I don't know. I haven't followed up on that. You sure that Yuji Naka is definitely in it? Um, you don't see shit. You don't see shit. That's right. Wait, I have a question. So... Yeah, you can kind of see which ones have the... Thermosap in them. I was wondering if you could, like, pull it off of them. Or something, but no, I don't think you can. I was wondering if it was just like on their chest and I could just pick it up off of them if I saw them. Ah! Okay, I think that's the thing I need to look at. Holy. Well, it charged me up. Thanks for that. It's a wriggling wreck. It certainly was wriggling. And it is indeed a wreck. Well, that's the thing I needed to scan. No, those can go off. I did not even need to turn those on. Well, I'm glad they gave me a eternity to get through this area because uh, I needed it. Having to go all the way around that mountain. That was a uh, that was a big ask. So, Leafy, are you ready for Sunday? Did you discover what we're playing yet? Leafy said on stream, I think it was yesterday or today, he had no idea what we were playing. <laughs> Even though I've said it. <laughs> and Raxby has echoed it. Uh, none of that. 
fun of that. I think I listened to the both of you. If not me, at least Raxby. What has Raxby ever done to you? Ah! Golem, please! Calm down. You missed. Jeez. If you gotta aim like that, no, no wonder your lover's not happy with you down there. Ew, a shock tower? Yeah. Think those golems need some basic sex ed? Yeah, they do. They need to see a diagram at least. Ah! You shithead. Just popped up out of nowhere. Oh my god, and now there's some of you. Go away. I see Leafy shouting in chat as quasi plotting something. No. No. Only the same thing I've been plotting. Raxby's plotting something much, much worse and more conniving. No, my tire! I need a mechanics kit for that, I believe. Uh... Oh, I don't have a mechanics kit? That's the one thing I don't have. Luckily, we can make one. Uh... Bonk, bonk. That's how you fix a... That's how you fix a tire that's become loose. <laughs> Does Condola know what we're playing Sunday? XP is an innocent frog, how dare you? Frogs can't plot. XP is a demon. I... I don't know what Leafy's talking about. Raxby has only ever had wholesome, uh... interactions with me. Except for that time they brutally murdered me at the beginning of Dokopon. Just, ooh, I happen to have landed on Quasi dead. And the time somebody threatened to steal something from Raxby and Dokopon, and they said with like the most sinister voice I've ever heard, they just were like, I will kill you. I was scared. It was scary. <sighs> All right. How am I supposed to trust a plant over a frog? It's true. Oh yeah, that was you. You threatened to steal the ancient thingy. Okay, now we're heading into fuel evaporation land. Every time they've damaged all the other characters has been an accident. A silly little amphibious slip up. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Raxby can do no wrong. And I only say this because I know it annoys Leafy. Because Leafy knows Raxby can do wrong. And has. Sticky feet are so hard to control. Too true. Ah, that stuff's really acidic. I was gonna- I was just gonna pop in for a second just to see how bad it was. Note, it's bad. Damn it, that's the tire I just fixed. I, ju I just fixed it. I, ju I just fixed it. This is what I get for fucking around. I thought Raxby was an angel frog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raxby is an angel frog. They are completely wholesome. I cannot provoke, I'm always attacked, but honestly it's kind of funny so I allow it. I see. When have I ever attacked you, Leafy? Except for the few times I did in Dokopon. You know? 
Remember Gamba? Gamba. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. It's too lazy. What is this? <laughs> we're playing Ultimate Chicken Horse and or some form of Mario Party. It is true. That is what we were playing. I can assure you Ragsby has done some evil. Right as Bug says Gondola always the peacekeeper. Gondola confirming. Ah, these big bubbles are so stinky. Such stinky bad bubbles. Cough box. I don't think Gondola's done any wrong. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I feel like Gondola's mostly just, just, just acts in retaliation. You know? What the hell? What is that? What are you? Hey you, you little shit. Bubblegum buddy. I see. You go bubblegum somewhere else. Um, Thermovac? There we go. Good. Needs. Oh, they're fighting each other. Interesting. Yeah, keep doing that. I don't know. I have. I'm an awful aberration. It's okay. I like to think we all are. No one is truly innocent. We don't- we don't have that innocent, wholesome person. Probably also true. Gondola's generally the one person trying to- <laughs> like an adorable crustacean. Bugs distracted by random, uh, random fauna. Okay, before I grab that though... What's in the backpack? Hi. Don't mind me. Oh my god, there's a lot of you bastards around here. Okay. Hello, anything of note? No, just a telephone. I'm out. Let's preemptively open the door, because I'm going to have to get out of here quick. You don't see me! Okay, actually safe. Actually safe. Not safe! Not safe! Okay, it sees me. We're just- we're just gonna have to accept this. Alright, go ahead and plunger me. Where are you- where are you taking me? Okay, is that- is that all you wanted? Okay. I hope you had fun. You little shithead. Could get some gas. Don't really need it though. Ask me about bugs, more like distract me with bugs. <laughs> I'm here all night. You see, this is the energy that Leafy brought to the Colosseum of Fools. You know? They'll never see another competitor like that. Not in any of our lifetimes. Don't worry, I can pull some evil off when we do the other thing. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, we got a we got a bad storm coming in. Pain. 
Wish I could deny it, but the combination of excessive enthusiasm and ADHD are a deadly combination. That makes sense. Hi. Hi. That one was already. Oh, never mind. That's the one I just looted. I didn't loot the cabinet. Your fridge. Give me. Give me it all. I don't want your phone. And then your house is locked. I've been known to collapse over a particularly glittery weevil. Not literally. I hope not. Is that up there? It does appear to be where it's at. Okay, where are we going? Where are you taking me? Into the tree? Or, nope, that's the telephone pole. Yeah, you see, you can't pull me anywhere. You can't pull me anywhere, you big dummy. Yeah, that's right. Go on with your stupid plunger. Leave me be. Oh, that's a little, that's a little too steep. A little bit too steep. There's one of the bubblegum things hanging out over there. Oh, it's windy. It's real heckin' windy. They I saw a video of a baby snapping turtle, and I did melt into a small puddle of joy. I need more things that make me melt into a small puddle of joy. You got this, I believe in you. Look at that. Knew you could do it. We are parked. I am here to collect things. Come to me. Almost all of them. Not quite. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's windy. Is it gone? I think it's gone. There we go. It was so mad, so smooshy and mad. Big angie snap or small angie snapping turtles. Giant orb. Can I like do anything with you? No. I wish you could give me thermosap crystals. Okay. Alright, it's fine. We're fine. There's nothing to worry about here. Good. Alrighty. We're back in. I think I can go get that audio recording and then we can get the hell out of Dodge. Maybe pick up some more swamp coral and stuff on the way. Mayhaps. Okay, more this way. I don't like how snapping turtles always had the myth of snapping your fingers off. <sighs> What's that? I mean, there's some cough boxes here, but... For the big males, it's not necessarily a myth. You'd want to have them have bitten it off because you're not getting that finger back. Yeah, that would suck. I'm still not messing with a snapping turtle. They're spooky and snappy. Oh. 
hearing these weird noises. I think those are mostly the cough boxes. We are actually getting low on gas, finally. I mean, I think I'm pretty much still fine, but, uh... Is that another problem with my lights? It is! It's just the other side! Oh my god. I'm about ready to get rid of these lights. I thought I sucked something off of these. Oh god, Jesus Christ, that actually scared the shit out of me. Fuck. <laughs> I just turned and saw a humanoid head. Oh my god. I thought I was sucking something off of the fucking giant orb. But am I sucking you off? I am! I mean, they blew up on me, but... I did give them the suck. Okay, I think this was plastic that was here before. Yeah. Yeah. Stop sucking people off? I've been doing it since Dokapon. It's fine. Plasma. Hello. Bonk. What's up here? Oh, your stupid doors that I can't get into. Oh, nice random quote. <laughs> We have, uh, we have two sucking quotes. I think that was Slay the Spire, given how early it was. Probably when I did the mod. So that was a while ago. There, you're gonna stop and not go down the hill. Unstable! Ah, everything's great, and this is only slightly burning my bum with radiation. So Go away. Go away, I say. Ah shit, get in the car. Get in the fucking car. Okay, where are we going? Right here into the tree? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're great. You're great at what you do. Thanks. Alright. Let me fill up my damn car. My car's having a good time. Looks like someone's boning in this car. Damn teenagers. Doing this in our beautiful lush forest. <laughs> Damn, they're going at it. Alright, I'm out of here. Up we go. Oh my god, again? Where are you taking me? Ah! We're fine. Thanks to the lifts. Oh, 
rocket car? Oh, I've already had the real rocket car. That's nothing compared to what I did. That was the best. I wonder if anybody else has ever had that happen. Really? Well, you really was surprised my, my, my car didn't take more damage from that incident. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave you parked here. I think I'm just gonna leave you parked there. I'm just gonna run up here and grab it. It's supposed to be up here. There it be. Something <laughs> with all the bouncing it was gonna take off again. I would hope so. It was amazing. Sadly, that's about where the cold hard facts end. Listeners, I tried. I really did. I started my investigation in the usual fashion, digging up every piece of public record I could get. The paperwork is maddeningly typical up until 1955. Census records, soil samples, weather reports, hand-drawn survey maps, the beginnings of satellite photos, all readily available for anyone with the patience to walk themselves into a county office. But those materials don't tell me much, and I quickly am forced to turn to more dubious sources. Before the downing of multiple passenger planes and the subsequent establishment of no fly zone in 1962, crude aerial photos are taken and circulated. This is where things get interesting. I find fuzzy shots of what appears to be entire mountains relocating overnight, buildings disappearing and reappearing at random, and lakes filled with water or light, depending on the time of day. The resolution is dubious, making them inkblot tests in their own right. They are the stuff of dreams among amateur investigators and conspiracy theorists alike. The most outlandish, improbable, and extremely unverifiable stories came from breachers. People rumored to have jumped, tunneled, hot air ballooned their way through the walls. If they're to be believed, there is much to be uncovered. But more on that later. Limb technology is not paraded around in the press for long. As the government withdraws acknowledgement that it ever existed, the public's interest similarly begins to wane. The last verifiable activity is an exodus of art employees from the zone, beginning in 1981 and followed swiftly by a full decommissioning of the zone in 1987. After which, those 3,600 square miles are sealed away and left behind with no explanation. A tomb, minutes away from the populous, perfectly normal city of Seattle, with decades of history and secrets locked inside. And that is where I'm left to fill in the enormous, ill-defined gaps. Uh-huh, thank you for your continued research. We just need to get far enough away from this thing that I can just loop back around to it. So let's just do a loop here. Ah, there's a big dance! Or is it a little dance? I don't remember, honestly. I could maybe use the gas, though, so I'm gonna stop. It is Big Dance. Leave me alone. It's my car. Oh. It didn't stretch that far. Come on, we can squeeze it in there. No. Okay. Let's, uh... Back it up and do, like, one of these. This happens to me all in real life all the fucking time. I've never had to adjust for it. Back when I had the... A car that had the fuel tank on the wrong... Or not the wrong, but the less common side. I would regularly go in the wrong way, but... 
Luckily, don't have to deal with this much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to move. I'm not far enough away from the thing? What the fuck do you mean I'm not far enough away? I should be. I'll just drive this way for a bit. Hurry up. Shit's coming in. Oh, not this dumb asshole. Who are you? Okay, there we go. Now we do... Gateways open. Turn around. Okay, this thing is still fucking behind me though. Here it is. Can't god damn this thing sucks at doing a turn like that. Alright, bye. Getting the hell out of here. And I'm definitely gonna burn to death a little bit. Holy, what the hell is that? Should I scan it? I'm gonna be ballsy. Oh my god, it's gone. Oh my god, it's gone. Pocket is so annoying when it steals your door hood. I didn't even know what it did yet, because I've never been hit by one. They always saw me, but that was it. I assumed they just stole something from you, but I didn't know it would be a car part. Ah! Fucking garbage in the middle of the road. Okay, we're in very, very loud, bad, bad lands. We're gonna take a shortcut. It's fine. There we go. Car's getting a little bit messed up. Uh, there went my headlight. But, uh, generally we're still fine. You know? Got some lead shielding on this bad boy. <sighs> there we go. spend any longer in this storm, you'll soon learn what it's like to have every bone separated from your body. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, I was, I was on it. Alright. Um, insulated panel, I think you need to be fixed. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the lead plated panel and toss that on there, why don't we? Actually, I don't think I had any lead parts on it this time. Which makes things a little bit spookier. Uh, he can be replaced. God, I go through lights. Those things die a lot. Okay, I did have a little bit of lead on here. Ooh, this thing's just dead. Okay, you're going into the grinder. Just I got a lot of cool energy. Okay. Done there. Still need a steel door.
Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna have stuff to go in this time. Oh, it was my bio headlight too. That's the expensive one. That's the one that died. I'm surprised it died before the regular one. Whatever. All right. What else needs to go in here? Insulated bumper for sure. I need a new bumper. My door. So, yeah, the rest of the stuff is just stuff that needs to go in there. Did you open? I didn't tell you. No, the light died for a while ago. Before the storm even started. Oof, my tires are fucked up. Especially this off road tire. It's gotta go bye bye. Okay, that is done. This tire just has a flat. Honestly, I might just get some new tires. Okay, so... Offer a tire, give me... You still have a summer. Here's summer. Need to make another one. up door. Okay, this lead one definitely needs to be fixed. Can't do anything with this right now. We're gonna have to go in there. Okay, so we need. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this door is fucked too. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can craft. Uh. Junction bypass, rapid refill, parts lockers, pneumatic lockers, deco vend, need limb chips, expanded matter regenerator. That is what I want. I have enough marsh eggs now. Give. Yes. Spots for my lights. Oh, that is phenomenal. Okay. Well, I definitely have space for everything now. Summer tire's fine. The tire's fine. It's new. It's new. Okay. 
door is good. Well, that is phenomenal. I just need to get you out. You go in here. And we equip you in there. Okay, what else is super messed up? I have a bunch of really screwed up doors. So let's go see what we can get as far as doors go. Tools. I can get the Liberator Mark II. I still haven't even built the first one. Um, kind of want the blowtorch. What doors can I get? I can get armored panel. No, I need to just get a belching barnacle. I can make the armored bumper now. And an armored door. I think I can get both of them. And yes, I can indeed. Good. Can I get anything over here? I still need more swamp coral to get that. Okay, so let's make a blowtorch. Never mind, I need marsh eggs for that. Okay, we'll work on that at some point. Can't make the plasma scrapper though. I just need gear. Just need gear. Thank you. Plasma scrapper has been obtained. So I'm gonna grind you up, friend. There we go. And your new quick slot is one. There we go. Good, good. Uh, I need a new impact hammer. Which I need two gears for. One, Comments left by all of the trolls. I never heard that part of the song. Armored door. I need steel sheets and it does use my thermo saps. But I don't have enough for the lead plated or insulated, so we might as well. Okay. Armored door, armored door. Hell yeah! We're moving on up in the world. Uh, there you. Now the weird wagon is armored. Okay. That's pretty good stuff. Wow, you barely gave me anything that time, you little shit. Aw, oh, look at this beauty go. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Oh yeah, that'll do nicely. Stop calling it a little shit. It is a little shit. It'll always be a little shit. Go. Here's 
my pearls. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Uh, I got multiple new cosmetic thingies. Did I read both of these? The mailman and yes, I did. Oh god, please! Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, friend. I can't help you. No help can be given. I apologize. Ah, there's where they were. Okay, so... The wood is funny, but will this help camouflage your vehicle among the trees? No. Will it make your car look better? Absolutely not. Are you going to apply it anyway? Probably, because you have no respect for fashion or style. Well, when you put it like that, you put it like that. I've already put the ornament in there. I was just looking at my decal, because I have to put that in the paint thing. It's specifically this, the pirate ship. Put the R in Arda. There, that's all it is. Uh... I think that's... Pretty much. I mean, I want to repair a few things. And I need to gas up, apparently. Did I? There we go. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, that's done. Yeah, it's pretty much just a few panels and stuff now that are kind of messed up. I do have some putty to smack it with. I'll hit you. I'll hit you. Most of the other stuff is good. Yeah, I'm just going there now. Okay, the fuel tank is full. Everything else is good. I've checked to see if I can make anything over there. I can fix this quirk. Oh. I'll go ahead and fix this now. Oh yeah, my HP. Uh, steering wheel goes left. Headlights dim. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's left. Swerves hard? No. Stays turning. Stays turning. Alright, there you go. Um, string wheel turns right, speedometer fails. I don't care about that one. This one I would like to fix though, and I need a light replacement kit. Which does require that I... Use my thingy. Ah, oh, that's what you need the pressurized cartridges for. Let's do when steering wheel stays turning fixed. There we go. Loads. Ah, you can put down the thingy. Did not realize I could actually do it. Alright. 
I'm done with stream for today. We'll see if we can actually get to the place next time. I at least opened a lot of the path there.